changes. All right, welcome in guys. And I gotta tell you, I just did a Facebook post comment reply for a young lady who has an established eBay store in business and she was not having sales. She has 1,450 active listings with 7,000 plus positive feedback, 1,000 or 100% positive feedback. She's been selling for years on eBay and she is now on day eight with no sales. Day eight with no eBay sales and 1,400 plus listings, 1,450 to be exact. And she can't figure out why she's not selling anything. So, what did I comment to her? What did I answer? Guess in the comments before you watch the rest of this video. Pause it, go guess in the comments how I responded to her. And then I'm gonna tell you how I actually responded to her because there are some serious, serious things you can do to make sure your sales don't go eight days at zero. All right, so Candy has an awesome eBay store, but it needed a lot of work. And so what I wanna do is take you over and show you exactly what I went over with her on the comment section of this Facebook group. Here's the thing, Candy's biggest two problems were the quality of her inventory and her attachment to the inventory. And I don't mean necessarily she's attached to it like in love with it, but a lot of the things that she was doing with her store and with her pricing and with her listings would make you think she was in love with the inventory. Whether it was on purpose or not, it was not conducive to her selling as much as she possibly could. When you have 1,450 listings, there are days that are slow for all of us where we might sell no items or one item or two items. That shouldn't happen, right? But it happens occasionally, once in a while, right? When you start getting that many listings, if you have quality listings with quality prices, people will buy from you, right? People always say, oh, the eBay algorithm is hiding you and blah, blah, blah. And I know there's a lot of myths and a lot of truths to a lot of this. But with that said, you still should not have zero sale days. It just really shouldn't happen. But to have eight days with no sales at all with zero, that's not an eBay problem by any stretch of the imagination. That's a your problem and a your store problem. And I know this immediately. I see it in Facebook groups all the time where people are like, it's eBay, it's eBay. No, if you have 1,450 listings and your experience and you have 100% feedback, you have a problem much bigger than eBay and it's never ever different. It's always the same answer. Either your items suck, your prices suck, or your listings suck. There's no other two ways about it. There's a lot of combinations of these things, but something sucks on your end, right? And that's just the harsh, honest truth that you have to face. I was super straight with Candy and I told her, look, it's not your fault necessarily and it's not harsh or being mean. It's just honesty and you have to look at yourself in the mirror and say, all right, let's fix this. So I'm gonna take you over to her store and I'm gonna show you exactly how I showed her to fix what was wrong. So I gotta do it on my computer because I have the comments in the store on my computer. I'll bring it up and we'll go through it and you guys will hopefully be able to take this information back to your own store and fix everything that you might have wrong that's preventing you from doing the very best that you can. All right, so welcome in to Candy's Stuff. This is Candy's store with 7,798 feedback. You guys can see it in the top left corner there and 100% positive, right? However, if we go over to Filtered and we show her sold items, in 90 days, there are 80 results, less than one per day, right? And if we go down, if you look, September the 20th, she sold a Generation Love Black Larson Pearl Button shirt. She did not sell another item until September the 28th, which is today, eight days without a sale, almost eight days, whatever you want to call it, right? So that's a huge, huge problem. Okay, so let's go back to her active listings and we're going to see what the answer is. Now it says 1,000 plus results. I can tell you if you go on the computer, she has about 1,450 results. So this is much easier to see on a computer, but... Let me show you what I see and then you guys can agree or disagree with me in the comment section. So 1,450 listings. She says she's consistently listing every day. I don't know how many she lists every day. Let's just assume it's five to 10 a day. So we scroll down and what we see is that she charges shipping on everything, right? She's doing shipping on everything and that's fine. Some of you like that, some of you don't. Now she shows some sponsored listings and she does do some promoteds, 
but not many. As you can see, as I scroll down, you see a few, and then you see a bunch that are not promoted. And that's what the sponsored means. So I would recommend, even if it's just 1%, if not 2%, you don't gotta go crazy at five, six, seven percent I think she should be promoting her entire store. And the reason is because she's in clothing and it's a very competitive, very saturated market in the clothing sector uh, for a lot of brands. Some are not, but some are. And she should definitely have uh, these all promoted. That would be my first recommendation. Now let me sort her store by highest price, right? She actually has an Emilio Pucci size four monogram printed silk beaded halter collar gown sold out, right? Sold out. So she should have put the word dress or the word gown or both. She should have had that. She piled this listing title full of keywords, but the gown or the dress should have been up at the beginning. It's an order of operations with those in the titles. A lot of her titles go this way where she crams a lot of keywords in that should be at the end. And that's great, but you gotta have what the item is kind of closer to the beginning. She's also charging $995. Now, when you look at solds, it's very difficult to find an exact one of this. You see a lot of other dresses that are in the mids, hundreds, 300, 400, 500, 600. So is this dress worth $1,000? Now, there are some uh, Emilio Pucci dresses that have sold north of 1,000. Not many, the majority of them not anywhere close to that, but, there are a few. Is this one of the ones that's worth it? Maybe, maybe not. But if it is worth $1,000, it's going to take a ton of time to sell. It's just going to sit. Now, she has a Mandalay swimwear for $48 with $550 shipping costs. That's not going to sell. It's just not going to sell, right? So as we scroll down, now she's got best offer on the dress, but not on many of the other items. She does have best offer on several items, but yesterday when I was looking through her store, I'm filming this on the 28th, I looked at her store last night, she didn't have best offer on almost anything. And as I scroll through, I'm again, only seeing a few items with best offer on them. So I would recommend again, in the, in the clothing sector, especially if your items have been sitting for a long time, whether they're expensive or not, that you really should consider best offer, especially if they've been sitting. You're not selling them. You got to lower the price somehow, either sale prices, best offers, something along those lines. Now, she's also using stock photos. We all know this is a big no-no, even though you have your own photos. eBay will suppress your photos. They will suppress your photos. In fact, in your listings, brand new stock photos is strictly against eBay policy to begin with, and it's against the law, new or used or otherwise. Again, another set of stock photos on brand new, strictly violating eBay's policy on stock photos. Not only can you not use stock photos for brand new and broken, you're not allowed to use stock photos for anything. And those of you that continue to do it are ones that continue to see these listings get suppressed more and more or taken down. So get rid of the stock photos, guys. I don't care if you have your own photos, get rid of the stock photos. And if you're insistent on using them, don't do it as the main photo. That's just a big red flag for that brand to say, boom, Vero, take it down. So, okay. So that's another thing that I noticed on here. Now with the shipping, she did free four day shipping on this um, you know, $95 bathing suit, which I don't remember her having free shipping on anything yesterday. So she may have edited this because of my telling her to. Uh, I said, you know, if you have a really lightweight item, it's conducive, maybe you do some free shipping, right? So she looks like she's changed quite a few of these items, but see, she has this swimsuit for $75 plus $6 free or plus $6 charge shipping. She's charging $75 for this bathing suit and I'm going to guess she probably got it pretty cheap. Why not just do 75 free shipping? Or if you're insistent that this is an $81 bathing suit, do 79.99 free shipping, right? Make it look better. But I guarantee if I look up a Chloe Rose Sun Chaser one piece swimsuit, which we can go ahead and look up pretty quickly. Let's go ahead and look up a Chloe Rose Chloe Rose swimsuit. And I'm just gonna look up Chloe Rose swimsuits, um, period. Uh, actually, let's go back to here. Let's go to Chloe Rose swimsuit. This is gonna show us all of them. There's 292 results, but we don't care about actives, right? We wanna go to solds. And her swimsuit's brand new, it's a one piece. So there's only 13 that have sold, period. Brand new with tags, right? And you can see the first one sold for 65 plus six shipping, but they took a best offer. So 71, probably, you know, in the 60s. Another one that took 55, 59, 55. Look, 35s, 34s. All of these, here's the exact bathing suit she has in the other listing, $33 and $33, right? So now we know 
what that is worth. So now we can go back to Candy's stuff and we can scroll down back to the way that, uh, that we were just looking. And as we scroll down into her bathing suits, we can see some of, look, this is one of the exact bathing suits she just had. 95 plus six, $101. Not one of them has come anywhere close. The most expensive one sold for somewhere in the 60 to $70 range. And it wasn't even this one. And it doesn't matter the size. She's so overpriced. She's almost double what this bathing suit is worth. No best offer, no nothing. It's never going to sell. She's way, way overpriced on a ton of this stuff. And if she just audits this, look, another Chloe Rose, 95, another Chloe Rose, 95, 95. She's got one, two, three, four, five listings that I can find right there. Six listings, seven listings that have absolutely, eight listings that have absolutely nine, 10. Who knows how many more listings she has that have zero chance of selling. They're overpriced. They're using stock photos. They don't have best offer. Half of them don't have free shipping. This is why people are unsuccessful at eBay. They're not evaluating each piece of merchandise like they want to sell it. You have to look at every single listing and absolutely make it perfect or near perfect or you can forget about it selling. You only get one chance. And if people see this with no best offer, they're just going to keep clicking. There's too many other options at half price. And as we go through her 1,400 plus listings, you see this over and over and over again. And now all of a sudden her 1,400 listings don't look so good because 700 of them, no one are even going to take a second look at, right? And then if we go ahead and sort this by her lowest price, right? We have some items like a rabbit fur trim black uh, placard purchased by the yard, right? She's selling rabbit fur trim by the yard. Not really a very desirable item. You've got you know, quite a few of those. You've got a, a $5 Farberware Rosebud Pattern Shell Sugar Spoon, stainless retired pattern for $8, right? Not exactly high up on the must-have list of a lot of people. So it just, honestly, there's just no, you know, no real desirability of a lot of these items. They're just iffy items. You've got a you know, a $12.99 all-in Place 89 girls white line dress. Nothing special about it. Not brand name, not anything like that. You know, we've got a Nordstrom BP Heather Gray V-neck short sleeve shirt. Brand new. It's $13 all-in. It's just plain V-neck everyday gray shirt. Yeah, it's Nordstrom, but it's $13. You can buy this stuff at Nordstrom for $13, right? So as you scroll through, you see that there's just not a lot of desirability. You know, things like this, this cigar themed silk necktie, $9.99 plus four shipping. I got no problem with it being a $14 tie. It's probably worth 11 or 12 when it sells, but just put it up for 14 free shipping or at least take a best offer or something. You got a lot of scarves, right? These scarves just, hey, yeah, they're just scarves. There's millions of scarves. You've got some of her listings that don't even have photos working. Check that out. Another baseball tie. Ties are free shipping. Add the shipping into the price. Make yourself more desirable. This beanie, same story. So as we go through this, I hope you guys are paying attention. She should be promoting some of this stuff. She should be swapping out and doing free shipping on a lot of this and adding the price in. She should be, you know, being realistic with her prices, especially on her high end. Look at all this junk that's just junk that's not uh, brand name or desirable or just things, tchotchkes, you know, tchotchkes that she's put up here that honestly should probably not even be in the store it's the sell through rate is dragging down the other good items so candy i know you're probably going to watch this i hope you understand she was super receptive to the uh feedback that i gave her last night you know i didn't it wasn't like she paid me for a store review or anything she posted it up in a group and i responded to it that's pretty much it um, i'm happy to go through all of your guys' stores uh unfortunately my time is limited so uh, I do charge normally a few bucks, but you don't need me. You can take what I've just told you here and go back and review your own store and fix everything that you need to fix to really you know, look yourself in the mirror and, and know that you're doing a good job on your store. Uh, with that said, I'll leave this video. I won't make it any longer. If you do want a store review, I'll link it below. I'll mark it at like five bucks or something. Um, and I'll be happy to go through and give you the honest, you know, harsh opinions and truth about what your store is and isn't doing right. So... Uh, good luck to Candy. I appreciate her giving me the opportunity. I know she's going to fix it. She's already sold one item today, so that's a plus. And hopefully she'll sell a, a couple more and, and start getting the roll back, you know, the ball back on rolling. So, Candy, thank you again. Have a wonderful afternoon, all of you guys. Check out the links below for the store review and everything else I mentioned during my videos. And uh, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see everyone next time.